everyone we are live and I am really 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 excited about today's live with none other than Bollywood theatre Netflix powerhouse um, Sheba Chadal. She's going to be joining us very soon. Just going to wait for a couple of people to join us. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Bit of a fangirl moment as well because obviously um, her roles are so inspiring. And as a female, you know, I'm in awe of her really um, challenging the stereotypes that we often face in the South Asian community. Um, you know, do my work in India as well, you know, empowering girls. Um, I think she's just such an amazing, um, inspirational lady um, to have joined hands with us. I'm really, really um, just, yeah, overjoyed today um, to have um, somebody so powerful join us. Um, so I can see that, ah, Sheba has joined us. Let's get her. So, ooh, the moment of truth. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, and here we go. Hey. Hello. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hi, Shiba. How are you? I'm good. Can you hear me well? Yes, perfectly, perfectly. Can hear you and see you looking immaculate as usual. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just saying to people that have joined in, I was like, you know, this is like a fangirl moment for me as well in terms of, you know, I'm just in awe of your, um, you know, amazing roles as well as, you know, the empowerment that you give um, others around you as well. So, um, for people joining that don't know me in terms of your followers, hi, um, I'm Ash Toure, um, founder of Toure's Home. Um, we are a non-profit that um, educate and try and empower um, those that are vulnerable. I take my work to India. I work with young girls that, um, whose mothers are sex workers and have come out of that life, as well as, you know, terminally ill young children and also um, other vulnerable members of society. So I take my profession from the UK to India and I'm so fortunate to have lovely, inspiring people like yourself, you know, donate their valuable time um, to just empowering others and showing that the gift of kindness is, you know, something that we all have the power to give. So thank you again so much. So Shiva, <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't... I don't want to kind of, I know you need no introduction because I've been getting so many messages saying, oh my God, I can't believe like you've got Shiva coming on. So loads of people obviously know of your career and, um, you know, the steps that you've taken in terms of that. So today let's get to know Shiva a little bit more. So okay. if you had to introduce yourself, how would you introduce yourself? Wow. I wish I wouldn't have to and somebody else would do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so who is Shiba outside of obviously the amazing actress that you are? Um, you've done theatre, Netflix. Um, who are you just as Shiba? I'm just just your average person, yeah. I'm just, you know, yeah. happen to be an actor. And uh, uh, it's, yeah, I'm just your average person with my own life my you know it's just it's very difficult to say that how does one explain that you know yeah i'm just like again that just shows just an actor, humble that's all <laughs> and a good one a very very good one at that so okay what made you get into acting it's just I was just always drawn towards performance and uh, yeah. i had seen a play very early on in life and i just um, family had no connection with the art whatsoever, but that play truly, truly just blew my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I, I just felt that, okay, this is something that I really, really want to do. I don't know what it is, but I want to do this. And so organically, um, you know, I kept meeting people who sort of uh, helped my journey um, to getting into theater. Mm, and yeah. yeah, I started with theater and, and, and it just, 
art and performance uh, just really really drew me and um, theater is like a amalgamation of all arts i feel no it's got everything in Absolutely. it it's got music and visual art and everything set is you know anything design it's got just all art and then of course the performance and the text so it's got just everything so yeah it's just yeah mm -hmm. yeah that that that's why we call you a powerhouse because like you said it's got an element of everything and from for me what was drawn um to, for me to be drawn to you the main thing that i kind of notice is those elements and that's so important in terms of expression in terms of wordings in terms of the way you carry out um the characters especially with um minority groups especially when it comes to females that aren't represented um and i remember doing some workshops and your name kind of comes up in those workshops as you know oh yes i remember that role because it was played and we felt represented wow oh okay <laughs> i've never thought of it and, like that mm hmm honestly mm. and um again that's one of the reasons that i thought it would be so good to have you on in terms of like you said you didn't even realize that but you are actually inspiring so many that don't have a voice wow i've never thought of it like that honestly so yeah wow i mean i'm if any sort of help happens in any which way for anyone it's just lovely you know it's lovely oh yeah. that's that's really sweet that's really sweet okay so in terms of you said how you came into um acting did you have any apprehensions in terms of you know it being a man's world and obviously in india there's still a lot of work that i'm doing in terms of empowering females in empowering young girls to come out and and actually have a voice were there any apprehensions on your side when you thought about getting into acting and did you have the right kind of support around you you know i i don't really remember coming with uh, any major apprehensions at all um a because i think i just sort of dived into the deep just you know uh, quite quite uh, unthinkingly in a way um yeah. when i came to bombay and into this industry so to speak i um mm, mm, i didn't know that i want to be uh, uh, i want to uh, be present on on a film set in a certain manner this much yeah. i felt i that you know there's a, there's a certain um a sense of boundary I think that's I've yes. there's some way that's a little bit inbuilt in me when I when I go to work now you know last many years um so I think that's like an inbuilt thing and I I I'm I'm quite careful about that sense of that boundary you know you you don't you don't cross that boundary um so um only that in terms of if I had to answer this accurately and in terms yeah. of support really um I know and I do have a sense of that you know if I think I'm quite instinctive as I think many women are uh, you know if 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 I sense a wrong um vibe I'm I'm uh, you know I can become like a wall so you know you can't even come near me so I mean, yeah. I mean, you know like quite um, yeah like that on a work set um and no particular support really you know because I don't come from a family of artists at all is a business family so they have you know mm, so um, yeah but just some friends were there when i started work in this um, you know in bombay um who uh, helped you know whose houses i would come i came and stayed in or um, but and yeah my first film i think i got to meet the director sanjali labansali because a friend of mine was helping him write the film so in that sense uh, yeah but no like backup plan or you know backup system support system no nothing like that so it was but you know you you when you're young and all you just sort of take a plunge and you say oh you know we'll try and we'll see what happens and that's exactly yeah. how i had come and it just by the grace of god it it did work out so yeah yeah like oh that's that. amazing And I think as well um times are changing now we're getting a little bit better um mm. in terms of the roles women are playing um in terms of empowerment um in your journey was there any time where you know you'd supported somebody that maybe had not been as strong as you because obviously that can feel to free i can see that you know you've said that actually when i'm on set that's it uh, you know there's a certain persona and you're able to carry that have you ed ever had to support anybody in terms of their mental health or you know in terms of their journey not being as strong as maybe you are but you mean in relation to mental health right yes uh, yes 
Not really. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't have an experience of a co-actor. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, where one would have to um, uh, extend that support. No, I. I haven't experienced that yet. But of course, I have had friends. Um, uh, yeah. Especially a particular very dear friend of mine. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, she went through a, a pretty tough time with mental health, but she's just such a strong soul that uh, she just, um, she, she just come out tops and, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm aware of uh, what it can do. Um, and, yeah. You know, yeah, how it can just um, completely alter your life um, to what degree it can go because I've heard um, from my friend and not been a visual uh, you know a party to that but um, I've been um, you know not present like that but I've heard which is a very dear friend of mine but I know I mean I look around and I see that just what it can do um, so yeah just all openness for it yeah just completely yeah. Yeah. yeah and why do you think it's such a taboo subject in India as a whole and also the Bollywood industry I mean I am fortunate enough to have um, people that connected and um, I've seen various stages in terms of some people handle it so well and are able to adjust to the money the fame some people you know it takes them downward spiral be that um their mental health be that drug abuse be it you know finding something else to 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 ground them um but it's still not as openly spoken about in india and especially like the film industry is there you know anything that you can pinpoint or what's your opinion on that? No, but I think uh, I, in the industry, I, I, you know, I really don't think I hear too much about it. Uh, mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, uh, but in, in, in life now, in, in, the, in the urban, um, you know, middle class, upper middle class milieu, certainly mm, I cannot speak, uh, you know, of the other milieu. Uh, um, there's certainly a much more openness about it. There is a talk about it. Um, um, you know, my daughter who's 15, uh, she just recently, they take out a newsletter, you know, just amongst some friends during the pandemic that just started. So their last um, uh, edition was, uh, without, I didn't even know, was on mental health. You know, they, they themselves did the work. They themselves came up with their stories, their articles, their little illustrations, everything. So it's not quite a, a you know, the carpet thing so much now thankfully um there is a discussion there is a dialogue there is a voice one hears a lot about it now it's certainly not like how it was probably in our time where one didn't even really hear about it you know or if yeah. it's, maybe it came to somebody saying it was really like just you know hushed up i think parents and kids are now just more and more um open about it in fact there's just uh, there's a space now for a dialogue. There's a space for it to be aired and brought out, which certainly I'm seeing this change uh, in, in the recent past. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's as bad as earlier at all. Yeah. Okay. So there's definitely improvements, yeah. which is great. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. And in terms of yourself and your journey, what grounds you? I know you said you're acting, you know, it has a lot of different elements. But what does Sheba do when she needs to kind of just ground herself and be her for a little while what's we've had people on that use meditation we've had people on that use art music um what what's your thing yeah i think what grounds me is the fact that i have um, my guru in my life which is the biggest i think my biggest blessing of my life is that i have uh, my guru um right. so um not that I, I, you know I, of course i'll be falling down and having bad days and oh, of course that can happen even but but uh, yes. eventually i know that um uh, the presence of my guru is my anchor um it's rock solid and i just feel very very blessed for that yeah so yeah okay yeah. and does that come in any form of meditation or art yeah. or music yeah. Yeah, I, 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 do, I do try and meditate certainly once every day if I can manage a little more than that. Um, yeah, yeah. And been very oh, happy really? that during the pandemic, yeah, I've been managed to keep, keep it fairly regular because sometimes when you're shooting back to back, it sometimes get a bit, gets a bit messy. But um, uh, of late, it's been very um, consistent, which is always my prayer that I'm able to be consistent with, um, with my sadhana. Yeah.
Brilliant. And I think that's really important. That's a really good point you made up during COVID as well. I think it's given a lot of people that space or that time. Um, I saw somewhere that you're quite new to Instagram and the, the um, whole yeah. media side of things. Is, is that true? Yeah, yeah, I just got onto Instagram on my daughter's insistence um, <clears throat> somewhere in May, you know. Um, uh, but yeah, like I've been saying, it's just been a wonderful um, diversion. It's been a wonderful, yeah. um, uh, you know, just another another thing, uh, completely new. And I'm glad I got off to it. And it's just been great to be uh, connecting with people. <laughs> you know, something yeah. which I, I, I sort of never done before. You know, people who sort of follow actors' work and, they, you know, they just they're just so connected to uh, that work and they feel connected to you know the actor I think on some level and I, I it's, it's just something so new for me to uh, engage with that it's quite lovely yeah. yeah yeah and it gives you a different perspective as well I mean I'm not tech savvy at all I've just about yeah. learned and a bit like you really I've been on Instagram but I haven't had that space to actually kind of make it work do these interviews so it's about that self-learning as well I guess um it has its pros and cons. Um, do you ever get Whoa. kind of fed up with the social media side of things? Because I can imagine you get messages after messages, you know. Um, ha again, managing that must be difficult at times. You know, I, I do tend to keep all of this at an arm's length, I must confess. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I, so um, I engage with it as much as I want to, you know. Mm. It doesn't, yes. um, so I, I try to be very conscious of the fact that it shouldn't overcome me. Um, it's something, <clears throat> you know, uh, we can be friends, <laughs> Instagram and I, but uh, yes. that, you know, it's a little bit, uh, I like to keep it at an arm's uh, distance, so not really. Till now it's not happened, and I hope to continue, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's like a part of my life, a really small part, it's not my life, and yes, yeah, I, I hope it never does become that, yeah. 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 And um, I think that's really kind of um, shows in terms of your work, your personality, in terms of your roles. You seem to take roles on um, that are quite bold, empowering, as well as different. Has that ever been a conscious thing um, of yours? Or do you just pick the roles that you feel that would suit you as an actress? Not really. To you know, it's it's quite um, simple. It's like you you get offered uh, certain roles, and that's not. It's not like there's a huge. Sometimes there is, but you know, you you basically you pick from what's offered to you. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's it's really because we are not content creators, right? We have to choose out of what is offered to us. Oops. So I think I've just been fortunate in the last some years to be offered this kind of work. Um, um, you know, uh, but if I wasn't. Uh, whatever was offered, I would have to choose out of that, you know, make the best of that because I'm an actor at the end of the day, it's my job, right? So uh, um, it's wonderful that it just, uh, it just shows that it's great that these kind of roles are being written, this kind of content is being created so that actors like us get to play these roles. And I'm just so thankful for that, you know, it's lovely that it's, it's being written like that. Of course, and having said that, I still feel there's a huge scope, um, there's a huge space where. Um, yeah, um, uh, more um, uh, yeah, more power, more power can can be um, um, can be given. More um, um, where women are tr truly, truly central, where they are the, totally the central, the driving force of a certain project or a script. Um, more can happen. Why not? Uh, yeah, so I yeah. hope it does. Absolutely. And I think um, in terms of what just resonated with me is I watched on Netflix um, Bundish, Bundish Bandits. Um, and your role in that, you know, just certain scenes, there were certain scenes, but it was like you were telling a whole story in that scene. And I think that became very central around your role in, in the whole series, for me anyway. Um, and I think that's really kind of um, evident Sorry, my doorbell's coming. Uh, so it's very evident in, you know, the clips and the roles that you kind of do. And that doesn't come kind of easily. So in terms of um, training and in terms of your acting skills, um, you know, 
does it all just come together do you research do you how how do you kind of get it so right <laughs> i don't do any of that so as i've been saying in all the interviews i'm a extremely lazy actor um <laughs> i uh, and I've, as an actor i've had no training whatsoever um the only training i've had so to speak was when i did a one month course in rada actually uh, i right. got a uh, yeah i got a, a charles wallace scholarship um, <clears throat> almost about 20 years back it's a british wow. council scholarship and then i came to rada for a month um, to do a one month workshop and then i went to northern ireland to apprentice with a with a theater company called the big telly so that's uh, you know in terms of training that just that one month or a couple of workshops that i've probably done but that's like i've just done last some you know many years uh, but you know as 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 training to be an actor um completely it's, it's like a jahil you know not at all um not at all yeah that's what you call yeah. natural talent that's that's a god's gift it's i i don't know what, what you know what it is you build on what, something and then it's experience and then it's i don't know i don't know what it is but um but i don't prep for roles really i'm not one of those prepping actors i Mm, it's, it's it's maybe that's my process. I, I I don't like too much thinking over thinking about it. I don't like yeah. too much prepping. I don't like too much homework. Till now, this seems to have worked for me. But maybe in, in future there might be mm, like I'm doing a short film where I'm playing a, a, a lady with Alzheimer's. So this is the first time okay. I'm going to be playing that. Oh wow! Um, so, yeah. So this director has been sending me loads of material, which is uh, making me feel odd, you know, uh, like that. um uh, oh something happened oh your lighting yeah. your lighting is gone <laughs> i don't know oh. how come it's there but yeah it's gone a little bit dark <laughs> yeah <I don't> know. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but my light is there it's funny hmm anyway so um so yeah i'm i'm little oh. apprehensive about reading all that um all that stuff oh my god what is this yeah. hmm. and uh, but uh yeah so uh, i'm not i'm i'm not somebody who likes to do too much prep unfortunately yeah <laughs> yeah and i think that's a good thing because sometimes if you over prep too it can come across a bit rehearsed and a bit kind of fake so i think with you that is working you know, perfectly you know i i i can't say for some actors that's really how it works and and that's the mm-hmm. job of an actor that when you've prepped the prep shouldn't show right that's that that can yes. never happen whether you prep a lot or you prep less you your prep cannot show because then 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 something mm-hmm. horribly wrong um so but for some actors too prep works very well but for me it doesn't so i i'm till now it's not worked but if i need to in future prep for some- yeah okay oh we've frozen for a minute oh you're back you're back <laughs> it 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 froze for a minute okay so i'm conscious of time so thinking about oh i can't hear you either Um Oh no. <laughs> uh, can you hear me at all? No. No. I can't hear you. No. Oh no. We've lost we've lost the volume. Bear with us guys. Um Oh. Don't know what's happened there. Um <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Okay, you can't hear Shiba. Can you hear me? Uh maybe there's a connection issue. Um If you can just put in the comments if you can hear me or not. Can't hear Shiba, ma'am. Okay. Um No, we still can't hear you. Uh Okay, thank you for that. Um it might just be a slight signal problem. Um uh, uh, uh. Let's see if we can maybe um Oh no. what are we going to do okay maybe shiba will kind of join in back uh, or it might be some kind of technical difficulty we were kind of coming to the end of um the session 
um in terms oh hang on i think we have shiba back no we don't have a back oh hang on shiba yeah let's see let's see fingers crossed uh let's have a look if it will connect um, um Hi, Shiba. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't really <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. We, we, we won't keep it too too long then. Um, thank you for coming back. I, I, there's always technical difficulties, so modern technology. Um, so in terms of obviously coming to a close, um, that's given us a really good insight in terms of you, in terms of, again, you're just so humble with everything you're saying in terms of you're not even realizing how many people that you are actually inspiring. And that's all around the world. You know, your UK fans, um, you know, also of, uh, just in awe of you kind of being on here. So in terms of obviously the vulnerable that I work with and a lot of young females, feeling that they can't achieve something what would your advice be to somebody that feels that they can't thinking that they can't achieve something yeah uh, wow um, <laughs> it really means something to you then um i suppose um you need to be with it at it um uh, and then see, I mean, if it really means something. Um, but if it doesn't, then it'll fall away on its own. Uh, but, uh, but try, and yeah, not lose hope, yeah. I, 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 um, I'm not one for a great, you know, uh, messages. Um, but uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, you know, it's just that keep at it. If it really, really means something to you, uh, keep at it. But know that it means something to you. Uh, yeah, and that's all yeah. I would say. And pray. Yes. And to make sure that you follow your passion, I guess. And in terms of what you said, in terms of background, in terms of art, etc., you know, it wasn't something that was kind of a family thing. It was just something that you gravitated towards and you liked. Oh, she was frozen again. Oh, no. Uh, let's see if we can get her back. One second, guys. <laughs> let's see. Um, it might just be technical issues. Bless her. Um, We'll see if we can get her back. But again, her words of kind of support and to everybody that feels that they might not be able to achieve something is to definitely just keep trying. And sometimes we think that, you know, we can't achieve certain things. But actually, if you put your mind, heart and soul into what you were doing, um, then, you know, you will definitely. Hi. Um, Hashneen Ashraf, um, hello. You said, please say your name, hello. Um, if Shiba comes back, that might be for Shiba, not me. Um, but if she comes back, um, we'll try and get her to say hello. Um, there's been lots of messages. I'm sorry I haven't been able to get through all of them. Um, you know, just saying how wonderful Shiba is. And, you know, I'm just so grateful that um, she kindly donated her time to be with us and to inspire um, those that are around us. OK, let's let's attempt this again. Um, bless her. Uh, Shiba's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry at all it's not a problem at all um i know time of the is of the essence i know you have another uh, meeting to get to um so thank you i really want to thank you in terms of you know just taking your time and donating your time to to us to just speak to us to know that you know there is kindness um no matter where you are 
what you're doing, you know, just to have those few words with somebody that you inspire, because honestly, you've inspired so many. I haven't even been able to get through all the messages of just saying how wonderful you are. And I echo that. And please, one thing that I'd love for you to take away is, trust me, you inspire so many um, young females and women. And I can, you know, I'm proof of that because your name has been mentioned many a times when I'm doing my work in India. So please, you know, do hold on to that. And thank you so much for giving them that hope. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless. Just God bless anybody who's joined and not joined. And just God bless everybody. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Eva. And again, you know, I'm really grateful. I know your time is valuable. So thank you very much. And um, hopefully we'll be able to join um, uh, again in some point. You know, the universe makes us meet for a reason. So um, I hope that we can meet again soon. Inshallah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Eva. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you for your time. Bye. Bye bye. So guys, that was Sheba. Oh my God, that was probably the most um, nerve wracking live that I've done with um, somebody that is of, you know, such immense talent. Um, thank you so much for joining. Um, please do, if you haven't already, do follow uh, me um, on my page uh, to Ash to Raise Hope and to Raise Hope. Um, I will definitely, definitely record um this live and put it on my IGTV and again you know thank you so much for joining and the whole message today was about people joining hands you know it's so we can all give something you know whether that's our time whether that's a donation um we can all give something to make somebody's life a little bit better and i really hope that um anybody watching that may be feeling they can't do something or they can't achieve or you know should i be going in this direction should i be going in that direction understands that if it's your passion and it's meant to be it will um it will take hard work it will take determination and sometimes we have to leave it up to the universe to to guide us in the right direction um so thank you again everybody for joining um hasneen ashraf hello again um and just keep smiling, keep spreading hope and keep spreading kindness, because if we carry on doing that, you know, this world can be such a lovely place. So thank you very much for joining. And I will um, see you guys in two weeks time. My lives are fortnightly. So I shall see you in a fortnight's time. Take care, everybody. Thank you for joining.